Hey guys, this could be a make or break week coming up in the stock market. Just want to make sure you guys are prepared because we possibly be taking the L and getting clapped. We got big tech companies reporting earnings. Fed having a conversation on Tuesday and Wednesday about interest rates. Hold on tight, guys. <laughs> this might get real bumpy. Let's get into it. It's your boy Wall Street Shooter, and I'm checking in for the gang. Hey, earners, man, this week is crucial. It's going to be a crucial week in the stock market. Like I mentioned, big tech giants. We got Meta, Amazon, Google, Spotify reporting earnings. Remember what I always what I was saying the last couple of weeks? If we're going to get out of this bear market, it's going to be on the back of tech companies reporting good earnings. Friday, we were rolling before Friday until Snapchat reported bad earnings and Twitter reported bad earnings, crashing the market on Friday, right? That's the reason why we had that giant pullback. The expectations were high for those two companies and they did not meet it. And it sent the whole stock market, especially on the sector side, in the tech sector side, in a frenzy. We might have more of this next week with the big boys reporting. But look, let's talk into it, man. Let's let's look at the earnings report. Uh, who's reporting? As you can see it, we got the big dogs reporting. I mean, Monday, <clears throat> well, Tuesday really kicks off with uh, Microsoft and Google reporting after hours. We also have Wednesday, Shopify, Meta, Qualcomm, Spotify, going to be reporting as well too. Thursday, Roku. Amazon, Intel, oh, man, it's, it's going to be a popping week. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It's going to be popping. It could be good. It can be bad. If you're trading options, I just want you guys to know about it. If you're in long positions, you need to be prepared for possibly taking another hit like on Friday, right? you got to be prepared. Then we got Fed. The Fed is going to be talking on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, talking about interest rates. The word on the street is that we're looking to do another 0.75. Gas prices are coming down. You know, we've been averaging about 0.75 on each interest rate hike. This word on the street it could be a whole bias point or even a half a bias point. I'm not here to predict or guess the future. I'm just want to put this out there to you guys so you guys are a fully aware of what's happening next week. Like I said, if we're going to get out of this bear market, it's going to be on the backs of companies like Microsoft, Google, Meta, Amazon, Roku, you know, the big dogs, right? It's going to come off their backs to push us through these resistance levels that we're currently testing, right? We rejected some of these major resistance levels on Friday due to Snapchat and Twitter. But come Tuesday, we can probably retest and hopefully push through. This is an important week. Very, very important, highly anticipated week for earnings. I'm saying this multiple times because you guys, I want to make sure you guys know, because if you're getting into option plays, I don't want you trading against or tr I want you trading with the, the sentiment of the market. And the sentiment of the market is going to be unfolding around Tuesday when Alphabet or Google and Microsoft start reporting these earnings, even Coca-Cola. UPS, like it's the big dogs are reporting this week, guys. You can see it right here. So just make sure you on your P's and Q's. Be prepared. You can possibly use some money. For me, I'm not swing trading nothing next week. I'm scalping everything. I'm really reluctant to day trade. I'm looking for small, for quick, big price action movements from scalps. And I might just stick to SPY and the NASDAQ as far as trading anything next week. Because it's going to be super crucial, right? I'm not here to bring any type of fear or cause a panic or anything. I'm just being honest with you guys. Next week is a very important week. You can see it right here on the charts. Who's reporting? We saw what happened with Twitter and Snapchat when they failed to report good earnings. The market came crashing down. It affected the whole entire market, right? And I know you're like, why? It's only two companies that didn't report. They didn't do good. It's the anticipation, right? Again, tech is going to have to push us through these resistance levels that we're currently at. Speaking of, let's look at it. 
as we're looking at SPY right now. Like I mentioned before, for us, before I get excited for any type of reversal into a, a bull market, I need to see us get above this 410, 420 um, uh, key level, break through, hold as far as a retest and continue to create. Can we do it off? Can, can the market do that this week? Possible. It's a possibility. It could happen. If we're, if those major mega tech behemoths, the tech comes to report great earnings, we can definitely push and test this level. We can definitely do that for, for our spy. If I look at the cues, we're already testing the levels that I'm looking at far as creating higher highs, right? We're in this, this range already from 305 to 315. Can good reports for good tech reports push us through here? Absolutely. It can push us through these key levels and even test this downtrend and push us through there as well too. But we need those tech companies to be profitable and report solid earnings. Now, the flip side of it, if they do not, and let's just say one or two of those, let's say Google or Microsoft don't report good earnings, we are already testing key levels and then we can get pushed all the way back down between 10 to 20 percent from what we gained in the last couple of weeks. It's very possible that could happen as well, too. So I want you guys to be prepared for both directions right we don't try we don't guess and try to guess the market and try to make our plays based off of that we wait to, for the market to give us what the what the direction that we need to trade in right we trade what we see not what we think so be prepared right if you're an options trader maybe you do some day trades within the flow of the market sentiment swing trading it's going to be risky right now if we pop on tuesday with alphabet microsoft pushing Maybe you might can swing those trades. I wouldn't do more than two days of swings, honestly. Lock in your profits, take your shillings, and get out of the plate, reassess, and get back in. You know what I'm saying? Base hits, baby. Base hits. Base hit scores run. This is very important, guys. I repeat, next week is a make it or break it week for the stock market. The major techs, tech companies are reporting earnings, right? We already saw which ones. Just want you guys to be aware. Listen, again, I ain't mean this kind of scare you guys or nothing like that. I just want you guys to be prepared and understanding that it can work. Your long-term holds that you're holding, that you swung over the week, be very cautious with those. If you're up, I suggest you. I'm not telling you buy, sell, buy, sell, or hold. Maybe you want to start thinking about taking profits, looking at your profit, profit targets and your exits, right? Always have your risk management tight. Have your exit strategy tight, take your profit levels tight, and stick to it. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting, but I think it's gonna be a fun week, right? And don't forget Tuesday and Wednesday, the Fed and his cronies will be talking about interest rates. So that's another catalyst. Big earnings, first catalyst. Fed talking Tuesday and Wednesday, second catalyst. Be cautious, people. Be cautious. That's all I got to say. It's your boy Wall Street Shooter. This is not financial advice. I holla at y'all. Peace. Thank you.